I am uploading my videos to share with you what impressed me on astrophotography activities. This is another video about my trial of Raspberry Pi astrophotography using a camera lens. I tried to capture the jellyfish nebula this time. So let's see how it went in this video. In order to eliminate the severe light pollution, I use band pass filters. This time I compare their effects. The spectra shown are LED spectra through those filters measured using my handmade spectrometer. This is the comparison of the images using the filters. The jellyfish nebula is so dark that you can barely see it in the H-alpha filtered image only. It should be a jellyfish-like object there. But it cannot be seen even in this image processed afterward. In fact, I have never succeeded in capturing the nebula using APS-C cameras either. The challenge was not successful. Well, it was not a complete failure either. Let's see the location of the nebula in the Stellarium. It is at the foot position of Castor in Gemini. Even Stellarium shows no magnitude value. This is the screen capture of my Raspberry Pi recorded by Kazam. The nebula position from my observing point is like this. The structure above is blocking so I can aim the nebula only in the early spring. The image is captured with Fujifilm X-T10 and a 35mm f1.4 lens handheld by the way. The lens is Canon EF 85mm f1.8 connected to the HQ camera via a mount adapter. I have been trying to capture dark sky objects throughout the year. With this setting and AH alpha filter attached. In order to reduce the light pollution. The links to the past trials are in the description in case you like to watch them. The first trial condition is no filter used. Due to the light pollution, the exposure time is set to 0.5 seconds instead of 8 or 16 seconds with filters used. The number of stack is set to 64 for all the conditions. Looks impossible to capture such a faint nebula without filters so I attached a UHC filter next. In this condition, another nebula is notable in the lower right. Then I changed the filter to doubly ionized oxygen. The light level is far lower than that in the UHC filter so the exposure time is set to 8 seconds. The nebula at the lower right corner is again notable. It is called Monkey Head Nebula. Finally I changed the filter to the H-alpha. The light level is even lower so the exposure time is set to 16 seconds. The arc shape of the Jellyfish Nebula is now notable. Unfortunately it is the most I could get from the Raspberry Pi HQ camera and a camera lens setting. These are the images I got in this trial. The H-alpha filter is a must-have item to capture dark sky objects from the urban site. After all, jellyfish nebula is very difficult to capture. I still have some options like increasing the exposure time 32 or 64 seconds. It would take so long to get an image so I might be trying it next year. I hope this video is useful for you. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.